hey you remember when we used to do this on instagram it used to blow my mind like how did they do this was it an app was it done on photoshop how did they get the square so perfect it was so many questions to come along with it nobody could give us an answer i figured it out so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this on photoshop and if you guys like this one make sure you like and subscribe make sure you bail me so you know when the next tutorial comes up with that being said let's go ahead and get into this now before i start this technique i want to let you guys know that even though this is a goodie it's definitely an oldie which means there was something that came through afterwards that took its place and i want to show you guys that but before i get to that i want to make sure that i give you guys this one because it stands the ground all the precursor that you need to know before you even start that technique so if you guys want that one i want to at least get 100 likes on this video first which means yes i've already created the video and yes it's already being uploaded so let's go ahead and show some loyal love on this video and we can get that out because i can't lie to you that one is so much better than this one even though this one is still good okay so like it's really simple all you have to do is just open up your picture in photoshop right open this up and make sure you crop this into like a square so i'm gonna go over here to the crop tool which is inside the slice tool so if you click and hold down on the slice tool you'll be able to bring up the crop tool and we want to set this as a one one square all right so this is what we're going to get out of this we can kind of drag this over though so like maybe this right here enough to pretty much just fill out every square right and then we'll hit the check mark okay great so now we have this in a square what we want to do is we want to go to view down to new guide layouts right and we want to make these guide layouts a three column by three row that's going to give us that nice square over here as you can see squares within squares so we're just going to go ahead and hit ok now if we hover back over to the crop tool we want to click and hold that down to bring up the slice tool right and with the slice tool we want to go ahead and make squares within this grid so we'll make the square within the square of the grid now the thing here is we want to make sure that we have snapping on because if we don't have snapping on we're going to mess this up so if you go into view and you click on snap that'll unlock the snap tool. and when you go to snap tool, make sure you hit grids layers slices and document bounds so therefore when you try to make this it's a real simple transaction you're not worried about if you're going outside the lines or anything like that it's completely even and you can get this done without any worries once this is done all you have to do is go into file export save for web you can save this as a jpeg or in png i usually do jpeg just because it's smaller which means whenever you send it to your phone it's not taking up so much memory on your iphone iphone lives matter what you want to do is go ahead and hit save and then save this on your computer okay so now that we're in instagram we have sent all this stuff to our phone right all you have to do is just upload from the bottom and go from there so we're gonna start from the bottom left or the bottom far right bottom right hit next and just paste it in now the problem is if you upload too much at the same time you're not going to be able to upload as much as you want to so i'm just going to go ahead and wait a few seconds and then continue to upload this out and that's pretty much it you guys so i think this is a very cool effect and i'm gonna do an effect similar to this soon so if you guys want to see it let me know in the comment section below but with that being said you guys i hope you like this one but i have to get up out of here so stay amazing stay creative above all else stay awesome perfect